Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Paper Mario Master Quest. Last time we left off, we had to end a little bit early because, um, I, uh, had a crazy, another crazy hard boss fight that, uh, I don't feel like I was properly prepared for, and, uh, we were already kind of long in the video, so I couldn't finish it that episode. But, uh, I have something I want. I feel like I never have enough money to get these things. Especially if I want to buy good healing items, which I feel like I need for most of these bosses. So, I'm going to be completely honest. Um, this little toad down here be damned. I'm winning me some gambling. They have robbed enough of my cash. And this toad down here that's just trying to feed his, his family can go to hell. The Mushroom Kingdom should be paying me anyway. So, down we go. And I'm going to... Gamble, we are going to save state, and uh, I'm winning, damn it. Nine block option. Gambling's a rip off anyway. Get ready to jump. Attack. All right. Come on. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? That is uh, okay. We got to make sure we select the right one here. Two. Cool. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna do a bit of this. Um, and when I have, like, a winning one, maybe we'll show that. Alright, there we go. Wow, yeah, nine blocks option cleared. A special bonus, your coins will be doubled. There we go. You got 214 coins. See, I'm not going to, to cheese grind this. I just wanted enough money to actually buy some damn badges. Because I feel like I haven't been able to buy some in so long. <laughs> because <clears throat> I'm constantly spending my money on, like, you know, other things. Like getting the desert enchantment, getting better food. And I don't think the bland meals are cutting it anymore. So that's mostly why I wanted some extra money. So that I can make the, uh, the good meals or great meals or whatever they're called. Which requires me to buy two things from uh, the desert. So... The badge I want isn't here, unfortunately. I want that one that uh, makes you do more damage as long as you hit the action command. Um, and I don't see it here. So... Yeah, no, none of those things that I want right now. So, I think what I'm gonna do now is go to the desert. And I wanted to get some lemons so that we could have lemon candy. Um, so I'm gonna go grab some lemons, and, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Alright, the most annoying thing about getting those lemons was definitely having to remember how to get back to, um, Dry Dry Outpost afterwards, <laughs> because, uh, you have to fall down like a, like a quicksand cliff, and you can't get back up the way you came, so you, you have to go a weird roundabout way to get back to town, so I had to remember that, but, uh, yeah, so we're gonna make some of the good dinners with dried pasta and dried fruit. I only got enough for two of them because they're 28 coins a pop. That's why I wanted money. So yeah, we got a yummy meal. Restores 20 HP and 20 FP. I think we're probably gonna be needing these for the foreseeable future. So yeah, I'm gonna make these as much as I can. They are very expensive, but I guess we can cheese the gambling place if I need to. I'll also check back in on the badges to see if, um, we can make those. Or get those. Alright, there we go. Lemon candy. A tangy candy made by Taste Tea. Restores 5 HP and 15 FP. Cool. So, I do believe these are what people told me anti-guys like. Hopefully I'm not wrong and look like a massive, massive idiot right now. So, apparently anti-guys like these. I guess I can go ahead and verify really quickly online just to make sure I'm not an idiot. Alright, from what I can tell, what what I thought people were saying was uh, that and you can get rid of anti-guys in a battle with lemon candies. But from what I saw online, it says go to Shy Guy's toy box and talk to the anti-guy there. And he will abandon the treasure chest, so... We can see if that'll work. I'll give it a shot, just because I'm kind of curious to see if we can actually get him to abandon the treasure chest and get the sweet, sweet contents within. But uh, I have a feeling that the mod creators are probably like, no, screw you. 
That's uh, not going to happen. My alarm was going off. So the anti guy was over here, right? I believe so. Wasn't it just like right down here? One of the first places we go to. Yes. Hi. Go. Go away, shy guy. Trust me. You don't. You don't want to fight me. So I did just save. Hi. Hmm. What do you want? Get away from that treasure chest, pal. It's ours, you see. Don't mess with us. Uh. I don't have an option to give you the candy. Um. Don't fight. Good. You're a smart boy. Okay. Yeah. It seems like that may not work. Let me once again check online just to be sure if that's how you do it. Okay, from what I can tell, um, you, you're, it's supposed to trigger a cutscene if you have lemon candy in your inventory. So, uh, yeah, I don't think that's gonna work, unfortunately. But, uh, alright, I guess we gotta go deal with, uh, the anti-guys now, so. Um, I guess I'll go to the sewers and get back to where we were last time. God, getting back over here is so annoying. So many stupid enemies on the way. And there's not a heal spot before this. Not a heal spot before this. Alright, so... We need to heal up. I got hit quite a few times from, like, first strikes and shit. Because of course I did. So, let's just eat a bland meal. Alright, and I think I'm gonna go with Bo for the start of the fight, so that I can just wail on the boss with damage as quickly as possible. So, let's go! Got the Ultra Boost, you have pa attack power, Mario's jump increases. Yep, tornado jump. Blooper! Ugh, why do you have to exist? Why do you have to exist? Yep, yep, and there you go, you're spitting them out. There we go, great, fantastic. Um, okay, cool. So, timeout is probably what I'm going to go ahead and start with, because that went pretty damn well last time. It seems like inflicting the anti-guys with status effects are probably the best way to handle them, so I'm probably just going to stick with that strategy, at least until we can get rid of the blooper. Wow, great, fantastic, thank you, that's perfect, actually. I, I, that's exactly what I wanted, thank you. Thank you. I love when status effects are at 50% chance. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is not going to go well. This is not going to go well, and it was such a pain to get down here. Ugh, I'm gonna have to do that again. Uh, well, I mean, let's let's give it another shot, why don't we? Let's see, will, will Mario get the roll this time, or will he critical fail? Let's find out. Uh-huh. God. Great. The one thing I didn't care about. Yeah. Maybe the strategy isn't going to work. I, I don't know. I was kind of thinking that would probably be the best thing to do, but... I don't know, man. It's I've already eaten up all of my star power now. And what do I have to show for it? I mean, I can try to yummy meal here and see if we can keep going. At least we got it on the blooper? That's... I just wish... I, I, I hate when things are a chance. I wish it was either just they're immune to it, or... Uh, they can be affected by it. Leaving things up to chance and something this rough? Hard. At least I'm getting pretty good at these anti-guy blocks, so they can only do 10 damage to me a turn. Um... Yeah, unfortunately they're messing me up way too much. Um... I'm gonna eat another yummy meal, and then I think I'll time out one last time to see if maybe I can get a stun on all of them and we can do something with that. And I'm just gonna keep having Bo fan smack the anti-blooper to do big damage. This is, this is my, my plan. It's not a good one, but it's mine. Ow, and I missed the thing. And if you screw up, fuck you. If you screw up, fuck you. Yeah, just kill me. Just kill me, fuck it, end it. <laughs> end it all. I don't care anymore. Uh, maybe I'll have to... Maybe Thunder Rages would be good? Shrinking all of you would be ideal. 
Yeah, they don't care. I must have gotten very lucky that that last the time I tried it um, this past episode because uh, we are not getting that lucky anymore. It's uh, not happening. I don't even think um, my last stand or whatever will save me. If it if this was a circumstance where. Um, Killing the blooper would also kill the anti-guys. That would be fantastic, but I know that's not the case here. It is not the case at all. All right, you sick, sick bastards. Just kill me. All right, full disclosure, there's not a save block down here, so I just set up a save state right here so I can at least try out all of my different ideas without having to make that stupid walk every single time. So, the closest save block is, like, upstairs, and I have to run back through all the enemies and everything. So... What do we want to do here? Um, last stand probably wouldn't be super useful, but I may leave it on anyway. Crazy Heart, I don't think is... going to be that integral in this fight. Because this has to be a fast fight, or I'm going to die. So, having something that's better in the long term on isn't super useful. Um, she used two items during one turn. Um, that would be a good time to have that increased, uh, regeneration or whatever. Sleep Stomp. I am pretty sure that they're fairly weak to sleep. The only problem with that is I would only be able to put, like, one to sleep at a time. Instead of, like, multiple. Um... Hmm. I'm also assuming that the boss can just respawn anti-guys once I kill them, so I think I need to kill the boss first. I'm assuming they're going to be that mean about it. Medicine man... Eh. Quick chart, quick change, uh... Yeah, there's not a lot here that I super care about. Um... Hmm. Let's put on... Let's do... Okay, so let's do, um... We took off Crazy Heart, so let's have... I'm just checking all of the other possibilities that I have here. Uh... Huh. So let's put on Sleep Stomp. Let's put on... Power Smash, I think, just because it's stronger than Hammer Throw. And then I think we'll put on... Um... Mega Rush, Power Rush, and Hold Fast? Because, yeah, I'm probably going to be in danger and possibly even peril in this fight, so maybe these will be useful. If I can get myself in the peril Mario mode, I might even be able to do, like, stupid amounts of damage. I could also possibly power bounce, but we'll have to, we'll have to see about that. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how consistent of a, uh, of a setup that would be. So let's, uh, let's go in with this and see what we can do, why don't we? Because I'm getting the boots upgrade here, so I have the Ultra Boots in the fight, which would make Power Bounce much better. So it's a possibility. They might have also nerfed Power Bounce in this. Because Power Bounce was obviously godlike in uh, the base game, but um, here it's a little bit harder. I also find that Power Bounce is harder to do on bloopers, because it's harder to see where the their hitbox is, because they fly so high above the screen. Alright, so what do we want to start off with? I think timeout. We'll try a timeout. If it doesn't work, I'll try like a sleep stomp or something. It would really just be super nice if you worked, Clevar. Like, I'm guessing anti-guys are just super resistant to it. I mean, okay, I got you guys at least. That's good. Um, can anti-guys be blown away? You know, Let's, let's test something. They might not be able to be blown away. Let, let's test it with an air lift first. Can I just lift them out of the fight? No. No. Unfortunately not. <laughs> I thought I would try it, okay? I thought I would try it for experimentation's sake. Because, uh, this is definitely going to be a fight where we're going to have to experiment a lot. Um, so timeout they seem fairly resistant to it. It seems like the anti-guys are fairly resistant to a lot of things. Also, doesn't it seem like this one's moving faster than the other one? This one? He's, like, kind of 
vibrating in place, whereas this one's much slower. Is that like a tell? As to an attack they're going to do or something? I don't know, that's weird. Alright, sleep stomp. Can I put you to sleep? No. The answer is no. Um, how about paralysis with what? A and B together repeatedly. Oh god, that's new. I mean, I tried. I tried. Maybe I just wasn't doing it right? Ow, I'm dead. I am deaf. Okay, so status effects are seeming uh, wildly inconsistent against these guys. I didn't really change my badges or anything. I just kind of brainstormed. Um, status effects really seem like the way to go here. So something I haven't tried is Cooper's Dizzy Shell, maybe? That's not gonna work. Nope, they're resistant to it. I mean, I got one of them, but it's only for one turn, so who, basically, who gives a shit? Um, hmm. Can I sleep you? That would be dandy. Nope, sure can't. Okay. Bing. Yeah, it seems like status effects in general, well, at least you don't do a lot of damage as long as I block it. Um, it seems like status effects in general just aren't going to be super useful here. Um... Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm pretty sure this one's a loss already. Let's try Hurricane, just for shits and giggles. A and B together repeatedly, huh? Wow, that's, uh... That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. <laughs> alright, alright, let's just go ahead and load that state. This, uh, this one, uh, didn't work out. I'm trying everything, okay? Sleep Stomp doesn't appear to be working out either, so I think I can take off uh, Sleep Stomp. Shrink Stomp, maybe? But once again, it would only work on one of them. Hmm. If I take off Power Smash... And... Uh, hammer throw, maybe? Then I can put on power bounce, and we can give that a shot? Like I said, this seems like it's just a DPS race, mostly. Like, it seems like just kill the enemies as fast as you possibly can. That's the battle. <laughs> so, I believe the blooper had 50 HP. Um, that's a bit of a chunky health bar to get to, get, get through before these anti-guys murder me in cold blood. But, uh, we're gonna try it. Let's see how good I am at power bounce. And I'm awful. Wow, that was, that was pointless. Cool, great, I suck. Love to see it. Um, that might be something we have to get slightly better at, uh, before we can win this. I, like I said, I've always been really bad at power bouncing bloopers, just because their uh, their hitbox is so high up, so it's kind of harder to tell. Great. Well, that that's this attempt's gone. Well, never mind. I blocked it. Cool. Um, I can cure the shrink, but I'm gonna die. But I'm gonna die. I guess we can do this and maybe heal up the next turn out of sight with bow this turn because I'm gonna die otherwise I will die uh yeah because even taking let's see I'll take half damage I'm gonna have one HP after that first no I won't you know what let's let's just try it let's let's play the the danger Mario stress. Let's let's just go. Let's do it. It would be really nice if you could inflict dizzy with that at some point, though. Just saying. There we go. No damage taken. Uh-huh. And you're gonna hit me with a two and a block. And boom. Good shit. Danger Mario. OP. Um, alright, so now let's try the power bounce again. Oh my god! If I don't fuck up this power bounce... 
Ow! Oh. Okay. Okay, I, I fucked it up. That was still a lot of damage, though. That was still a ridiculous amount of damage. Uh, I'm gonna out of sight with Bo. We're gonna heal with Mario next turn. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to do a smooch if I want to stay alive. So... That was... that was good. That was nine and six and four, I believe. So... That was pretty damn strong. That was a bunch of damage. Um, I'm also wondering if the Volt Shroom that I got will work on you guys. I'm not sure, though. Actually, maybe it would be better just to use a Yummy Meal here rather than Smoosh. I do need some FP back anyway. This is going to leave me with 22 HP, which I think will leave me good enough to survive here. Assuming I don't miss any of these action commands. Missing the action commands can... Always cause some issues. Cool. We're good. And boom. Thank you. Huh. Okay. Um. Power bounce it again? Power bounce it again. Yeah, I think I'm missing that timing. Oh my god, it's dead. Um. Uh. uh whew, I'm sorry. I'm stressed. Um. Hmm. Okay, it's dead. Now, we just have to survive the anti-guys, which... <laughs> That's scary. If I can just survive the anti-guys. We got really lucky with that Mafia Blessing. Oh god, we got really lucky with that Mafia Blessing. Um... Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes. Hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're, we're, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Okay. Now, don't fuck these up. Please, I'm begging you, me. I've never asked you for anything in my entire life, but I need this. Can I survive? If I hit all of the blocks on these next anti-guy hits, I will survive with one HP, which will put me into peril, which means I could power bounce on one of them with Mario and do fuck tons of damage. Um... I think I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Um... I think we're gonna go for it. So... I'm going to power bounce you. Is it limiting me at three, or am I just messing up the command? I'm probably just messing up the command. Come on, can this, can this strat please work? It will make me so happy if this works. Huh? huh. Got it. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Huh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah, we're in peril, I know. Believe me. Oh, I fucked it up that time. That time I did fuck it up. I just totally missed it. Alright, out of sight. Oh, my heart. It can't take it. It cannot take it. All right, we're good there. We're good there. Um, so, now I am going to need to smooch here. Just, just give me a big ol' smooch, Mistar, please. I require the lovin'. Thank you. Okay, don't miss these. Good. Uh-huh. And boom. Boom. Yes! Okay, we're at... 4 HP. So I will die. Um... Mm. This is hairy. Um, I think I'm going to power bounce it again. I think I might power bounce it again. If I can just get one anti-guy out of the equation, I think we're good. If I can just take out one, because then I could be at 4 HP and survive, assuming I hit both of the, uh, both of the blocks. <sighs> I wish I knew how much HP you had left. God. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, he's dead. Okay, um, I don't even have to out of sight here, but I'm gonna do it just for safety's sake. I'm just gonna do it for safety's sake. Oh, did we do it? 
Oh man, that ma Mafia coming in clutch. I tell you what. The Mafia really saved my bacon there. Um... Do I want to do this? If I miss one of the action commands, there's a chance this could kill me if I just do a bland meal. But I also need FP. I'm gonna do... Smooch. Once again, for safety's sake. Mistar... Making out with me a lot this episode. Thank you, Mistar. I appreciate it. Uh-huh. <laughs> this would have been so fucking hard if I wasn't as good as I have been about those. Um, I think I'm gonna skip out on using Power Bounce now, just so I can Bland Meal. Bo can attack again. Um, well, Power Bounce might be good, but it's also very expensive. But we're definitely going to Fan Smack with you. Go down, you sick bastards. Go down, you sick bastards. And even ruder, we don't even get the XP for... Ow. A slight, a slight hiccup. A slight hiccup, it's fine. It's fine, though. Just a minor inconvenience. We have refresh. We can cure the, the shrink. Um. But yeah. God. Mafia coming in clutch. Everything just kind of came together this time, in particular. Die. <sighs> okay, don't miss these. You need to hit them. Thank you. Okay, um, if I don't heal here, you will kill me. So... Uh, another bland meal is required because I don't have the star power to do a smooch. We might just have to heal every turn now and just have Bo attack. Luckily, Bo does a lot of damage, so that is not a problem. Good shit. You're, you have to be almost dead. You have to be. I, I just used all of the food I just bought. This is why I cheated at the gambling hall, okay? This is why I cheated. That, that food was not cheap. That food was not cheap. Well, the, the bland meals and stuff were, but the, the lemon candy required me to go all the way through the desert, and the um, yummy meals required me to do some other garbage. Like go to Dry Dry Outpost and buy all the ingredients, but... Is that enough? No, you're still alive! You bastard! Okay. Um, hmm. I'm out of good healing items. I would be able to survive with a lemon candy here. Alternately, um, can you, you can focus. I still have group focus on. I could have bow focus and then I could do a smooch. I think that's the play. Bo, if you would so kindly. Just because I'm scared and I'm trying to play this as safe as possible. Yes, I know. It is slightly charged. Very carefully choose Smooch. <sighs> I'm glad the healing on this doesn't go down the more you use it like Refresh does. That would be a problem if so. Alright, so now we have some more opportunities here. Good shit. Good. Now we have a turn where both Mario and Bo can attack. So let's get some more... Oh, Mafia. Oh, Ma you spoil me, really. Oh, gosh. All right. Boom. 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 Yeah, since I'm playing it on the emulator, I think I have to press it slightly early than you would normally. That might be my controller, the emulator. I don't know which. But we did it, damn it. We did it! Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. I'm dropping a quick save just in case the game crashes or some shit. So, uh, yeah, there we go. I'm not... I don't feel bad about using quick saves constantly because we've seen how much the game, uh, can crash. Oh, hi. Didn't mean to hit you with that, but, uh, enjoy, I guess. Um, I really don't need to be fighting you guys. I need... I need to leave. I need to leave is what I need to do. Can I, I just wanted the stupid block, but I was in the wrong spot. I have no star power. I don't have any healing items. This is just 
not an okay scenario. Wow, it was one coin. Thank you. Why even bother? I'm gonna lose a bunch of my money just running away from all these fights and failing. Because Mario's stupid. Ugh. Okay, at least you only do two. Oh. Wait, you so Oh, God! Okay. Boy, am I glad I, uh... Boy, am I glad I set up that save state. Boy, am I glad I set up that save state. Because, uh... That'd be really unfortunate if I hadn't set up that save state. <laughs> like, come on! You're gonna make me fight something like that and not put a fucking save block here? I'm, I'm imagining the mod could probably add save blocks if they want to. If they can't, then... Okay, it's not their fault. But, uh... God! Just random swooper that's like, no, fuck you, you're dead. I just wanted to see what was in the fucking goddamn blocks, okay? That's all I wanted. But you put like 60 million enemies here with a blooper that shits out anti guys at the end. Fuck it, I don't care. I don't care if Peekaboo or fucking Miyamoto himself is in one of these question mark blocks. I'm out of here. I'm so done with this. Uh uh. Get me out of here. <sighs> Now you guys are a bit easier to evade. There we go. Okay, you're over there. Gotcha. Alright, out of here. Don't care what was in those blocks. It wasn't a pink block, so it wasn't a badge, and that's what matters. Um, I might honestly go back up and hit up the save block up here just so I can have a real save. I think I will. Or we can just go to Yoshi's Village and rest and everything. Oof. Yeah, I'm- I'm glad I put that save state down, because dying to that swoop after fighting the stupid blooper would have been an absolute nightmare, and I probably would have cried. But, uh, we're good. We're good, thanks to the power of save states. And I don't give a damn how much the mod creators guilt me by saying a toad isn't going to be able to feed his family or some shit. I don't care, he can suffer. He's not even a real person. If it was a real person, I'd feel a bit more bad about it, but Toad, you're not real, I'm sorry. <sighs> Alright, let's get out of here. So we're done with that stupid area, and God, you guys attack so fast. You just show up on screen, and it's like... Bam, you're hit. I think I'm just gonna run away again. You guys, I've fought you, and it's not worth it. And if it's not worth it... I'm out of here. Bye-bye. Okay, cool. So let's get you... A shooting star, thank you. I'll possibly need that later. Okay, and now you're gonna start putting all these blocks up super high. Okay, is this the same thing as before? It sure is. Yup. Okay. Where does this pipe go? That's the door. That's the door that I know oh so much about. A blue door. Um, is that a crack in the wall? I honestly can't even tell. But I have to assume it is, because there's nothing else down here. Yes, it is a crack in the wall. Oh yeah, you. I remember you. How you doing, friends? You're not gonna murder me, are you? I don't know, I, I'm kinda scared of everything in this mod, okay? Okay. I hit Wacka and Wacka tried to murder me, alright? I feel like I have reason. Well, well, looky here. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Rip Cheeto at your service. You're quite an enterprising fellow finding this place. What am I doing here? Just doing my little business, minding my own. You, my friend, have just stumbled into great fortune, for I have a deal for you. I have something special, and it only costs 64 coins. Deal? Trust me, it's a bargain. Well, I mean, I didn't even earn this money legitimately, so here you go, friend. Star piece, thank you. Well done, my man. I thank you deeply. Now, if you thought that item was good, I have something even better for the same price. But I warn you, this offer's only good right now. You'll be kicking yourself if you miss this opportunity. Alright, what is it? A life shroom! Well done, my man. Now, if you thought that item was good, let me give you something even better. Do I even have enough? I do, just barely. Yeah, how sure. You got the money money badge. After Mario- after battle, lets Mario get twice as many coins as usual? Huh. <sighs> Well done, my man. I thank you deeply. Now, if you thought that item was good... I warn you, this offer's only good right now. 
No, I'm good for now. Hey, pinch your pennies. It's a shame, really. So I'm so amazing. Okay, so that's good. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be keeping this live shroom because um, we need to give it away uh, to uh, what's his face. So I'm glad I got that. How much is that money money badge? How much does that cost? Because holy shit, I really want that. Power bounce is not going to be good because I'm not as good as power bounces as I once was. I used to be able to get ridiculous number with power bounces, but that was on an actual N64 and I don't know if it's my if it's my controller, like my controller it feels like sometimes the A button presses don't work and I have to press it twice. So that could cause an issue, but it also feels like I have to press it way early. Way earlier than you would expect. Obviously it's not something you can see, but I don't press the A button for jumps when I land on the character like you would in Paper Mario. It's like when I'm still in the air. I have to press it, basically. That's why I don't like relying on jumps in this. Um, so yeah. Alright, so... Where is that money thing? Down here? Oh, it's zero. Alright, cool. I'm glad... I mean, I, I cheated to get that money. But now that I have that, maybe things will go a little bit better. Um, so let's put, uh, refund payoff back on. Let's take off, um, uh, Mega Rush, Power Rush, and Hold Fast. We don't need any of that on. Um, and we can put Crazy Heart back on. But what will I... Oh, wait, no, we can't. I need my hammer throw back. Um, I have group focus on... We need two more to be able to put that back on. Hmm. Yeah, I think I would have to get rid of these if I want a crazy heart on. Let's just try things without crazy heart. Crazy heart is nice, don't get me wrong, but, um... Uh, for regular enemy, that's more of a boss fight thing. For regular enemies, I don't really think I super need it. So what do we want on instead? Power smash, maybe? Um, Medicine Man may be good. Uh, Double Pain, Fire Shield. Uh, how about we do Medicine Man? I mean, I've been talking about how much it sucks getting good healing items, so. Let go. Where does this come out? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, this is that... Yeah, the odd house. This is right. Okay. And this is now a faster way to get back to this place, if I ever need to come back here. Good, good. I am happy about that. Awesome. Alright, let's, uh... Yeah, we're pretty healthy. Let's go back down. Oh. Man. This has been, uh, quite the little adventure. I don't know if the other thing he gives you is actually good or not. I'm pretty sure at some point, um, he, uh, just starts ripping you off. But, uh, those were three pretty good items there, immediately. Uh, oh, there's more of these than I thought. Uh, sorry. It's just three boos, but, uh, I'm gonna run away. Sorry about it. I can only lose one coin, so who cares? Uh, so is it right here? Yeah, see, sometimes my- you can really tell there. Sometimes my- my button press just doesn't work. You know what? Just- just- just do nothing. We'll- we'll murder you guys. You're gonna be annoying to deal with otherwise. You only do two damage to me. Even if I don't block it, so... You're not the worst thing in the world to actually just kill. Congratulations. Alright, so... Um, let's power smash you. Bang. Big dead. And, uh... Sure, shell shot. Bang. Dead. I don't get any XP, but, uh, we should get some money, right? Yeah, that is extra cash. You weren't lying. 
We do get extra money now. Alright, you wanna die too? We'll just do nothing again. And kill you. I wish your attacks didn't take so long to go off. Like... Even if you hit me, you barely dent me. But, uh... Whatever. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Good one. Alright, so now you're dead. Um, well, I won't be able to kill all of you. Well, yeah, yeah, you know what? You know what? Let's see here. Uh, Paracarry? What's Air Raid look like? I've never actually seen this one, I don't think. Well, no, I've seen it before because I used it all the time when I was a kid, but I, we haven't seen them since uh, this playthrough. That's a better way to put it. Okay, well, now would be a good time to have multi bounce or any other attacking ability that's AoE. Bam. Bye bye. Multi bounce actually wouldn't be the worst now that I have the, the boot upgrades that I need. Because my, my jump actually does damage. I feel like I'm going to have to get good with power bounce if um, I want to be able to beat some of these later things because it seems like power bounce is probably going to be a must. Because I'm pretty sure power bounce is what like Peril Mario and stuff use because it's just the highest DPS that you can output reliably like that. Because if your if your attack damage starts really high, the first hit will do a ton of damage, and then it'll just keep going after that. I just got to get way better at the timing for it, which hopefully we will be able to do. All right, thank you for the money. Okay, see, that was a good amount of money, because I believe that money-money thing also doubles the money that I get that's extra from that one that I have on where when I take more damage, uh, I get cash. So... Oh, of course I would miss the last jump. Just break my heart, why don't you? There we are. Cool. So this door, this stupid door that I was never able to go through as a kid. It just opens. For me, it always said like the door was locked or something, or you can't go through the door. And I don't know why. I went and talked to Merlin. I got the go ahead to go down here and go to the door, but it would just never open. It would say the door is locked. And I don't know why. But we are here. So I think, yeah, right here, there's an upgrade block. This can upgrade a party member. Bombette, it is your time. Gumbario, as always, you were the last one I upgraded. <laughs> Sorry, Gumbario. I mean, Gumbario did... Mombet is upgraded to Ultra Rank. Gumbario, I think, used to get, um, Multibonk? Or am I thinking of, uh... A character in the Thousand Year Door? Because it said you got Iron Bonk, which allows you to hit spiked enemies, which is not as good as Multibonk, but I, I feel like Gumbario had Multibonk. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Is there anything hiding over here? Doesn't appear to be. All right. Cool, the ice area. I like snowy ice areas. Another reason I was always really sad I could never do this chapter. A star spirit on ice. So yeah, I'm mostly blind, I would say, on this area. Um, I remember absolutely nothing about it except for the boss in this town. That is basically all that I remember. So this will be an interesting experience for people that know more about this area than I do, because uh, I'm going to be totally lost. This is going to feel like a blind LP for a bit, so... Whew. Alright, the recording's at an hour, but we can keep going for a little bit longer, I think, because I did cut a bunch of stuff out. Hey, you have a first degree card. <laughs> Beginner, huh? I've got a third degree card. It's like I'm stronger than you. Okay. Wow. Rub it in my face, why don't you? city is becoming pretty dangerous lately. I saw this totally suspicious stranger wandering around just a short time ago. He seemed to be searching for someone. I didn't like his looks. I wonder where he got off to. Alright, well, what's in this house? Hi. Starborn Valley and Shiver Mountain are both near here. But you better dress warmly if you plan on reaching them. Okay, I will. I like your little house. Where do you sleep, though? On the floor? Alright. Go over here to the shop and see what they have. Uh, ooh, stone caps. 
That might not be the worst thing in the world. Wow, I'm really glad a shop sells those now. Those could be super useful for some bosses. Snowman dolls are crazy cheap. You also sell life shrooms. Okay, that's nice. Wow, this shop is godlike. Thank you. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put that one life shroom I have away. Um, I want to check. Uh, here you go. Here's a life shroom. Okay, we'll put it in deep freeze. That's funny. Uh, I do want to check some other things. I wonder if there's gonna be a boss at some point that's like, uh, screw you. This boss can just one hit you at any point, bring like 10 life shrooms, and you just have to rely on life shrooms for the entire fight. I wouldn't put it past this mod. Okay, so did I- I talked to you, I talked to you, I don't think I talked to you. The northernmost burg, Shiver City. You come from Toad Town? Very, very far away, huh? Welcome to Shiver City. Thank you. So, go ahead and hit up this again. I do need to heal up too. Starborn Valley? I'm sure I go east from the city. But you have to be careful. I have it on good faith that there are lots of scary monsters between here and there. The thought makes me shiver. It seems like all I hear these days are frightening rumors. What's Shiver City coming to? That doesn't excite me. I just love the aesthetic of this place. They even have lights in the trees. I just love snow and, like, Christmas aesthetic. It's so pretty. I saw this really bizarre guy around here the other day. He was shouting, like, Oh, it's freezing! And he was also going, No, Mario! Who was that nut? No, Mario! Mario? I should really play Luigi's Mansion someday. The Toad House slogan is, Refresh your body and soul. This is a very adorable looking toad. I like how they have different outfits in this place because it's cold. That's a cute change that they didn't need to do, but it is nice to see. The cute little toad and earmuffs and like a sweater. Oh wait, that was a potato, wasn't it? That was a potato. Give me that potato. Thank you. That's useful in a fair few recipes. I think we can make yummy meals out of those potatoes. So I wonder if they respawn. That would be very useful. So let's go to the left. They told us to go to the east to get to Starborn Valley, but uh, we're gonna completely ignore that because we're weird. Okay, where is it? At least this is so much faster than ground pounding. Mm-hmm. I will find you, damn it. Oh, I bet it's over here. I bet it's over here, right here. Or it's on like, okay, there we go. Bang, gimme. Thank you. All right, so I talked to you. Let's go into this house. Hi. Anyone for a shave? Anyone for a shaved ice treat? Strawberry flavor? Maybe watermelon? Or my personal favorite, tangy tangerine? Ho ho! I love frozen treats. You love frozen treats, and you live in a place where it's cold. Interesting choice. I remember. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. We made it up here. Hello. Anything in here? Thought I remembered something like that. Uh, the attack effects E badge. Alright, let's hear it. I don't normally like these things, but let's hear it. Um, I think they're all the way at the bottom of the list usually. Because nobody cares about them. I'm sorry, that's rude. I'm sure somebody likes these. Oh, it's Yoshi! <laughs> Okay, I mean, that one's kind of adorable, I won't lie. I do love Yoshi. Uh, let's just go to active badges and take it off that way. Uh, but yeah, okay. That, one, that one's not bad. That one's not bad. Cute little Yoshi noises. I don't even know if I've ever found all of the badges in, uh, Paper Mario or not. I probably haven't. Okay, so that got us up there, and I think that was the only thing up there. So, we talked to you. Did I talk to you? Hey. People who travel to here from other towns must think that the city is freezing cold. I'm used to it. I heard, though, that somewhere in the world is a town that's covered in sand. Now that would be intolerable. I don't believe it even exists. Oh, it does. I've been there. A really shady individual came to the city recently. He was screaming at the top of his lungs and running around. It was really odd. I think something strange is going on in our peaceful city. Uh-huh. Bum 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 bum. Hi. Nice, uh, shaved ice treat up there. Oh, we have a guest. Welcome, you poor man. You must be freezing. If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room. Please, go right in. Okay, I don't know your husband, but, uh, sure. 
Uh... You good, friend? Are you good? Can I have your present? Are you good? Your eyes are crossed out. No reply. Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's this? He has a memo in his hand that says Herring Way. Darling, would you like a cup of tea? Hmm? Oh, dear. You know you'll catch cold if you sleep there. Help somebody, anybody, my husband is dead! He's been murdered! <laughs> I always thought this was, like, kind of morbid for Paper Mario. We don't really see anything quite this morbid in the rest of the game. I mean, there were ghosts being eaten, but that wasn't nearly as bad as just walking in and Mario finds a corpse. And it's not like, it's, they just straight up dead. No, my husband is dead. He has been murdered. Murder is an option in the Mushroom Kingdom. It's a penguin murder mystery! It's one of the, uh, other reasons I was always sad I could never do this chapter. Is, it's a murder mystery chapter, quite similar to, uh, something that goes on in, uh, The Thousand Year Door, which is a lot of people's favorite chapter. What's going on here, madam? Just calm down now, you need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. Uh-huh. My husband is dead. Look at him lying there. Oh, my darling husband. Somebody clipped his flippers. By Puffin, you're right. The mayor's been murdered. This is like a mystery novel, except it's real. How tragic. But, madam, if I may ask, who on earth would have reason to put this penguin on ice? Him, right there. That man with the suspicious mustache. I told him not to come in the house, but he barged right in. You liar! My husband was alive right up until this man showed up. He must be the murderer. Hey, you, mustache. You listening? This good woman's accusing you. What do you say for yourself? What me? Don't try to play ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We've got a witness here. Isn't that right, madam? Do you know I could destroy this entire town with a flick of my wrist? Yes, that's right. He did it in cold blood. I, uh... Saw it with my own eyes. You liar. You liar. Besides, he's the only one who came into this room. It all adds up. So you're sticking to your story, claiming you're not the culprit. Yeah. Don't be ridiculous. Mario didn't do it. Oh, yeah. So you, we get maybe... I don't know. That dialogue could apply to anybody, but maybe they all have different dialogue depending on who you have out here. Hmm, if you're telling the truth and we're dealing with a backroom murder case. Oh, I never trained for this. Backroom murder case, high-ranking penguin slain. Look at such a horrible plot twist hit our peaceful city. You, Mr. Mustache, once more for the record, you swear you didn't do this. Okay, I think I believe you, but this means we have to find the true murderer. Ah, perfect. I'll give you a chance. Since you claim that you're not the guilty party, then you must bring me the murderer yourself. If you do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way. Alright, off with you. You haven't proved that you're innocent yet, so I must forbid you to leave the city. Well, we screwed up. You killed him, didn't you? I knew my instincts were right. When I saw a stranger like you out here in such a remote place, I knew that you must be up to no good. Oh, the horror. My poor, poor penguinkins. Please forgive me. Please forgive me for letting this murderer in the house. And I'll do it again. Alright. So, now we've got our objective in this town. And, uh, everybody's probably super suspicious of us. There's new things to do. But we need to go ahead and end this episode off. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Paper Mario Master Quest. And I will see you next time.